everybody. This is Jeremiah Craig. We're going to be playing at McGann's. This is the live stream. So just hang out. We're going to be getting ready in a second. Just got to get going here. So welcome to the live stream. Can everybody hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ha ha ha. No, no, it's going directly through the um, through the board here. So this one. Yes.
I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. like it's coming out of that one. Get some more guitar. Yes, please. Yes, please. Check one, two. It's, yeah, I'd like it. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. I guess that will work. It'll work. That's good. We're good. We're good.
All right. to the streets at a half past twelve Mama says to watch yourself ha! With the dirty demons all right behind Trying to get you in good time Yeah, look out now Yeah, you're moving slow, heavy on your back Carrying grudges that the demons lack Yeah, they just come up doing their job Looking for your soul to rob yeah. All right, can't you see through your holy eyes As the sun begin to rise yeah, you're losing everything along the way On your way to a brighter day Oh, is this how the heavens meant it all to be? Is your love, is your love so weak that it shivers in the breeze? It's all to be Is your love So weak That it shivers in the breeze Got no great disguise Pulling up the collar To cover your eyes Yeah, you're moving slow Heavy on your back yeah. Carrying grudges That the demons lack All right. hey, hey, oh. Is this how the heavens Meant it's out of be? Is your love Shivers in the breeze. Is this how? Is this how the heavens meant it's out to be? Yeah. Is your love? Is 
your love so weak that it shivers in the breeze, yeah. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jeremiah Craig, and we are Jeremiah Craig and the Rusty Crowbars. Richard Worsman on that epic bass solo there on Grudges. Give it up, give it up. We got James Dunoyer over here on the drums. Wow, what an epic night. Ghost Town Brass kicking things off right. Then Thought Contagion. Thank you guys so much. Oh, love it. You guys are the best. All right. We're gonna play a little, uh, little oddly, oddly timed song here. This song is called The Commandeer. It's a good old song of adventure, love, you know? All the good things in life. Who doesn't like a little adventure? Huh? All right. Let's go on an adventure together then. Calling not a gentleman at all. Still, I go a calling down to one ninety one. A rain it gently pattered on the furrow of my brow. And with outstretched hand, I run into Benjamin Gunn. Find your treasure boy, say he with a grin. Yeah. But always know where you are going and don't forget where you begun. The gems and quirks waiting to be explored. And both of us have a yearning to always learn a little more. As we barter like pirates while the tide is out from shore. Yeah, waiting to be taken to another world. Where our love will be unfurled. And I don't know how this was seated to me, but I grovel here. Yeah. 
Travel to the right, sharing inspiration a while, laying in your stardust and knowing that it's weird, right where I belong. what I found. I'll tell them to keep their ears wide as they travel around. Yeah, for a love story will go far. Mythologize, but kept on par. And with every thought of you, my face fills between the ears. Yeah. Take me over That song is called The Commandeer. Thank you very much. Give it up for Richard Warsman over here on the bass, holding it down with the only solo instrument. <laughs> Guys, I'm so bad at playing solo on guitar, so I'm so happy that Richard is so good at doing it on the bass. <laughs> holding down that low end like nobody else. All right, so this next song, is a one for my Romeo and Julietas. This is a violent song. See, what I like to do is, is write stories, songs with stories in them. So this is a song with a story, and it's about a lone shark who is very fond of his cigars. His favorite brand is uh, Romeo and Julietas, in fact. So this lone shark, he's got, you know, he doesn't have just one cigar cutter. He's got two. Yeah, I can, I can hear, I can feel where you know where this is going. So he uses one for his favorite cigars, of course, the Romeo e Julietas. And the other one, well, sometimes people don't pay him back, but he needs something in return. You know what I'm saying? So this song is called One for My Romeo e Julietas. kind my friend and it's unlikely you'll have a respectable end but me I'm a businessman and I know life like this cigar in my hand too many people don't know if you cut it too high it will unravel and leave you dry I keep one for my Romeo with Julietas the other for your fingers you say you want my money for a trip to Vegas I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us. Man, I thought she was smarter than this. My only interests are cigars and interest. You're good for it is all you say. But you ain't won nothing since that horse lucky day. And so you see my dilemma now. And the need for collateral before you leave town I keep one for my Romeo with Julietas The other for your fingers 
You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas. I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us. Bugging and I get impatient here. Yeah. As you compromise my wealth. Ha. Since you don't use those fingers for counting cash, I guess I will just help myself. What you got, Richard? Chop it up. Break it down here for you. Yeah. You see, part of my living come from gambling on the gamblers. And I like to keep those who keep a good hand up. But you come a bad hand. So give you a bad hand instead of folding you and making you a dead man. Ha! If you're still looking to leave here with green, you better be willing to part with your pinkies. Yeah, while I wait for you to make some digits, you have to leave some digits here with me. I keep one for my Romeo and Juliet the other for your fingers. You say you want my money for a trip to Vegas. I will make sure that you come back to see us. Run for my Romeo and Julieta. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, so this next song here is an old sea shanty. You know, the songs that sailors would sing when they're out at sea? Sailors. You know, the thing about sea shanties is that, man, they could get raunchy. But the thing is, when song collectors started bringing those raunchy sailor songs inland and performing them in, like, uh, choir halls and things, they had to censor them. Yeah, they took all the fun parts out. So we're going to sing a censored version of a sea shanty. But then James wrote a special verse to make up for all that cen censoring at the end. So if you get offended, just know we warned you. Just know I really mean it. And what you do with the mango stays between you and the mango. Be of good cheer for the Irish land will soon draw near In a few more days we'll sight Cape Clear Jenny gets your oat cakes done Hop Jamboree, hop Jamboree You sometimes sell a haul upon the line Hop Jamboree, hop Jamboree Jenny gets your oat cakes done Cape Clear, it is in sight. We'll be off Hollyhead by tomorrow night, and we'll steer a course for the old rock light. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hop Jamboree, hop Jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul upon a line. Hop Jamboree, hop Jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. My lads will round the rock, all the hammocks lashed and the chests all locked, and we'll holler in to the Waterloo dock. Jenny gets your oat cakes done. Hop jamboree, hop jamboree. You 
sometimes sell a haul up on the line. Hot jamboree, hot jamboree, Jenny gets her old cakes done. Now my lads, we're all in luck. We'll be off to Dan Lowry's on the spot and we'll have ourselves a good roundabout. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Hot jamboree, hot jamboree. You sometimes sell a haul upon a line. Hot jamboree, hot jamboree. Jenny, get your oat cakes done. Sacrilegious watching porno and mass. Jesus in my corner like he fucking for cash. Later, Jenny coming over just to draw me a bath before I get in that ass and I split her in half. Now the whole room smell like shit. Fuck so much to the cat cause you can smell the dick. Wash it off with your wifey spit. Never gave a fuck, you could call me celibate. Wait a minute, let me catch my breath. Satan's up my ass, call me Mark for death. Remove my balls from your chin where they often rest. I can squeeze the go good all out on your chest. Rather that, let me nod on your face. Toast to shoot a glaze, you're digging the taste. Matter of fact, you're my turkey to baste. I'ma put you in the oven, not a second to waste. Ha! I'm a dookie in your navel, now I'm shitting in the shower, gotta wash it down with Drano. Life is getting stale, gotta fuck away the pain though. Sex is getting stale, I'm about to shove a mango up my butt. Anything just for a nut. No time for a princess, I want a vicious slut. Tie me down and fuck me up, rock my feathers, don't bite my cup. Homicidal kind of love, that's what's up. Whoop jamboree, whoop jamboree. You sometimes set a hole upon the line. Whoop jamboree, whoop jamboree. Jenny, get your old cakes done. James Dunoyer, raunchy verse, raunchy, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I like you guys, you guys are fun. Cheers to you, cheers. One shot, one shot. All right, who got a shot tonight? Anybody buy a shot? That's what I'm talking about. Tell about it. If you haven't purchased a shot, this is the song to do it on because this is the origins of why we call that one ounce of liquor a shot. In the Old West, you used to be able to walk into a saloon. Maybe you don't have any money when you came in off the trail, you know what I'm saying? So bartenders would take a 45 caliber bullet for a shot of whiskey. That's where that saying came from, or some people say that it came from. So, I don't think that they'll take bullets, but you should definitely pay them and tip them well for this shot. <laughs> so this is a song about that. It's a good old West song, you know how it goes. I come in off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey, but they had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired to sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games so the other four boys got a table, and I moseyed on up to the bar. They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone, and I said, Barkeep! We came in only with our guns and good looks. We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books, but a drink would liven up our weary bones. What do you say? He said, empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. It's one shot for one shot and I only deal in a 45s. One shot, a whole lot that leaves you with one shot for your life, yeah. Well, I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, lives for taking chances. So I told the boys we had a deal, and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs, and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the Rangers took me from her bed. But she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spotted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. I said, you got one shot to apologize, or I'll put one shot between your eyes. It's 
One shot for one shot, and I only deal in a 45s. One shot is all you got. You got one shot for your life. Take it, Richard. And then he said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores. So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next. I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun. But he was all wrist and it's all hip. So I kept my word a la tete. Then I was empty, but I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, but I was quick to my knife. Yes, he knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life. Well, before he ran, he let them fall on the ground, and I bought the boys and Kate another round. One shot for one shot, and I only deal in a 45s. One shot is all you got. You got one shot for your life. One shot, one shot. Be sure to buy your shots up at that bar and tip your bartenders very, very well. Thank you all so much, Big Ams, for having us tonight. We are Jeremiah Craig and the Rusty Crowbars. Yeah, buddy. The man in the suit. Let's do man in the suit. This song is called Man in the Suit of Mirrors. And I got the idea to write this song from a mattress commercial. The guy on the, the salesman on the commercial is like, everybody's putting their money in their mattresses nowadays. <laughs> it's sort of an economy joke, you know? And it wasn't really funny, but I was like, what if people really did th do that? And what if they got conned out of it somehow? So this is a song about a con man stealing all the money out of a rich man's mattress. He's a con man, so he's a man in the suit of mirrors. It's not literal, folks. These are metaphors. <laughs> Metaphor. With a customized charm, he rolls into the room. His three hounds at his back. Entering with him is the light of the moon. To light the dark within you, showing you what you lack. He has no title of power, but assumes the air. It is mysteriously allowed. It is his suit that makes him familiar to you, yes. And it brings your guard down Now tell your mother to take you back home Tell your mother my fears Tell your mother to take you back home And be afraid of the man in the suit of mirrors was an old country ball in the Smithson barn. A wealthy family, t'was said, in his usual attire under another name. Into that ball he tread. Now, Gerald Smithson owned a mine down the hill. 
he held parties as he pleased. After a little ale, he told the man in the suit, his wealth made him sleep easily. Remember that one. Now the man in the suit found young Mary Smithson, the trophy that made Gerald's spouse. Mary had never met someone quite like herself. Soon offered him a tour of the house. She giggled and flirted as he jested his way. From different rooms she would lead. Till they came to the bedroom where he sat on the bed. Twas a good mattress indeed. Ha! Tell your mother to take you back home. Tell your mother my fears. Tell your mother to take you back home. And be afraid of the man in the suit. Of me. Smithson went looking for his wife in dire need of a waltz. He went to the house and he called from downstairs. He heard only the echoes of his call. Climbing the staircase, he went to his room. A cool breeze as he opened the door. Yes, his mattress was thin and there were only a few dollars left. Mary lay bare on the floor Tell your mother to take you back home Tell your mother my fears Tell your mother to take you back home And be afraid of the man in the suit Thank you, thank you very much. All right. We're cruising through this set, so we're going to add in a song. This is, yeah, I know, right? It's great for us. Great for you guys, too. This song is called Nights and Weekends. You remember when you used to be able to, you know, get free calls on nights and weekends from Verizon? Who's calling anybody anymore? Screw that. This song is about a gigolo. It's actually a gigolo origin story. Not orgy story, origin story. thousand in debt so many regrets he can't count them on his hands and toes under the late notice from alice the mad lady she got eyes for him to cure his woes he says how about i come on over tonight it looked like you're in need of a good time at first he declines 
But then she flashed a Benny and it changed his mind. Yeah, those Benjamin Franklins will do it every time. You know what I'm talking about. Alice was nothing special. She looked like a pear in a plastic bag and with a few decades of driving mail, places of her began to sag. But after he accepted the offer, his face turned one of the deepest shades of red. A big smile came to her face. She touched his cheek and then she said, you don't need no candles, no. You don't need no wine, no. Oh. You don't need your bed made up with those linens so fine. I'm only asking of you for just one thing. You said it's good, but in the future, nights and weekends is the time to call. The night was heavy on him as he got ready for the arrival of Alice. And even though he really didn't have to, he shaved to have a nice, smooth phallus. And when the night was over, she said, you know, I got some friends who'd be into this kind of thing. Yeah, you need help and you can help them. Speak up, boy, now what do you think? You don't need no candles, no. You don't need no wine. You don't need your bed made up with those linens so fine. If they ask for you, they're asking for just one thing. He said, you tell them that nights and weekends is the time to call. Yeah, make it sexy now. himself out of debt with no regrets except for one but he got that cured it was all for Alice on her route every day ha! she was out there spreading the word he was booked high for the first two years that is until he raised his price now you better have big money if you want to head on over to his place tonight now he buys the candles yes and he buys the wine Got his bed made up with those linens so fine. Only asking for him, you asking for just one thing. Yeah. And nights and weekends is the time to call.
nights and weekends. Yes. Nice, nice call, Richard. Richard says, let's jam on D minor for a second. Let's do it indeed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Love it when the bassist says, fuck it, let's do it. Thank you all for hanging out with us tonight. We got one more song for you. This is another sort of happy adventure song. It's called Viaduct, and it's about that feeling you have when you're feeling on top of the world. Isn't that a great feeling? It's kind of how I feel right now, up here with Richard Worsman on the bass, here in the Rusty Crowbars. Yeah, feeling on top of the world here with James Dune Y.A. on the drums. Who doesn't feel on top of the world with these two guys? Huh? I definitely feel spectacular. My name is Jeremiah Craig. We are Jeremiah Craig and the Rusty Crowbars, and I am tuning my guitar. <laughs> Tune the tune of the guitar. All right, this is Viaduct. Let's do it. Suitcase on the viaduct and Miss Pross said she'd sew a new handle on. I met Ramona in the waiting room and we decided to get lost in the Gamelon. Yeah. Yes, she took me up to the attic now to tell me more about how she was feeling. And we laughed when I lost my shirt And my foot fell through the ceiling Through the ceiling now And I wave, wave, wave From above And I wave, wave, wave At you, love And I wave, wave, wave From above on the vias of you now I saw Baloo, he was shaking them trees as I was crossing over the interstate. He was done reaching at them prickly pears, finally trying to put on a little winter's weight. Yes, he told me to come stand upon his shoulders. Cause the ones at the top are the sweetest And I know firsthand just what it means Yes, I can feel it Yes, I feel it too And I wave, wave, wave From above and I wave, wave, wave At you love and I wave, wave, wave From above on yeah. Now I make no haste, cause if it goes to waste, it was meant to perish. And now I make no haste, I take a good taste, one that I can cherish now, one that I can cherish now.
onlookers can think whatever they please But to me it feels just as real Maybe even a little bit better See, I got no problem with frozen custard meals Yeah And I'll probably stay up here quite a bit longer I'm just liking it this way And I think I'll be just fine Staying here the rest of my days Rest of my days I'll wave From above and I'll wave Wave, wave At you, Lord, and I'll wave Wave, wave From above on the viaduct, yeah Waving back at me now, love. Yes, I said, ah, hi, 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 hi. On the viaduct, yeah. Thank you very much. We are Jeremiah Craig and the Rusty Crowbars. Stick around. Follow Sierra up next. Thank you so much, McGann's. You're the best. Peace. Have a good night. Woo! Thank you. JeremiahCraig.com if you want to catch up with us. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'll see you around. Peace.